Okay, so welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. Uh, this is Bruce at Bookmap. Uh, risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. There is a free trial for 14 days. Uh, it comes with education. Uh, so not only do you get the software, but you also get access to the advanced order flow webinars. You get the bookmap education course, and there are some other resources as well. Uh, reach out to us at support at bookmap.com with any questions. Let me show you where you can find bookmap. Uh, bookmap.com here. Let's click on explore. Uh, from the about page here, you can see there's an intro video. It's just a, a minute long or, or so. Uh, watch this just to get an understanding of what bookmap is. Uh, and then we'll just scroll down here. Uh, it just goes about, it goes through the uh, bookmap um, uh, benefits. Uh, you can click here for the uh, uh, free webinar, uh, which is this webinar right now. And um, other benefits here, uh, you can see testimonials. Uh, and then bookmap for uh, for equities here. So if you uh, if you trade uh, U.S. equities, you get NASDAQ total view. Okay. Um, it's an excellent data feed, so um, uh, we can look at some equities if you want. Just uh, let me know. Uh, connectivity, you know, you will need um, a data provider. Uh, we are a software platform. Uh, we don't provide the data. Okay, so to connect Bookmap to the live markets, you will need one of these data providers. Okay, or or go through your broker like Stage Five here uh, and uh, and be able to connect. All right, uh, a bit further down, the uh, pricing information. Okay, this is where you can give the uh, uh, free trial uh, a try. The uh, There's Bookmap Basic. It's 49 per month, 14-day uh, trial period. Uh, then the Bookmap Advanced and Bookmap Quant, uh, Quant versions, they're, they're not really different versions. They're just more features, okay? And you'll pay for those features. So, for example, the ability to trade right from the chart. Uh, this is a, a really nice benefit because we have the liquidity heat map in front of us. So we can really uh, optimize our our uh, entries and exits, uh, being able to trade right from the chart. Uh, there's these proprietary indicators that we put together as well. Okay, these look for um, the larger traders, for example. Uh, something unique here, trying to find where the larger players are and how they're behaving. Uh, looking at order book and balances and volume and balances and an iceberg detector. So uh, we have an indicator that can uh, show you uh, where uh, iceberg orders or hidden orders are uh, uh, starting to, uh, they're accumulating. And uh, then the correlation tracker as well. Okay, so quants, you might want to reach out uh, to us here to learn more, uh, connecting your own data, your own indicators, etc. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see here. You can follow us here on Twitter, uh, bookmap or at bookmap underscore pro uh, is the handle. And uh, then you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well. Uh, there's a couple of intro videos for those of you who are new. Uh, you can watch the uh, uh, intro video playlist here. Um, and then the next step would be if you're new um, is to watch some of the features and components videos here. Uh, and then uh, work your way into some of these order flow video snippets uh, that you see here. Now, these just go through the um, uh, order flow phenomena. Now, there's a distinction between these two um, playlists. Uh, the features and components are, is really the kind of nuts and bolts of, uh, of Bookmap, uh, how you access or how you use some of the features. Order flow video snippets is uh, understanding the order flow phenomena that Bookmap uncovers. All right, so this is more like the advanced webinars, uh, and we get into really uh, fine details of the order flow so that you understand what bookmap is displaying uh, and then how to use it. All right, okay, so that's that. Uh, let's take a look at the markets. Uh, we're, we'll look at the NASDAQ today. There's a lot of news coming out um, uh, later uh, this week, so um, Text still is the one that is moving. Uh, it's even starting to move the S&P some. So uh, we'll take a look at, uh, at the NASDAQ looking for some movement here. Uh, and then um, let's zoom out here. Now, the reason being is um, well, we can see the 930 open here. And this is the pre-market data. You can see we're just going sideways. And then we see the dramatic move to the downside 
pretty quickly uh, and then a move right back up to where we dropped from and then uh, continuation to the downside. Okay, so um, now what are we looking at here in Bookmap? Uh, it's um, market data that uh, it's, it's really pretty basic uh, and simple. It looks like it's really complex here. It's not. Uh, in fact, we, we do have an indicator panel uh, here, as you can see, but um, uh, book map is not an indicator. Uh, it's, it's a really clear and objective view of the marketplace, uh, about as transparent as, as I've seen uh, out there, that uh, you're really getting all the market data here. Okay, So uh, all we're showing are three different items here, best bid and offer, Okay, the historical best bid and offer. Uh, there's no candlesticks. A candlestick is even more complex than what you're looking at here in terms of concept. Uh, we're just showing market data. Uh, but what we're able to extrapolate from that data is really insightful uh, because we're giving a lot of transparency here. Uh, and you'll see as we continue on in the presentation. Okay, so historical best bid and offer. And then all of these dots that you see here, uh, the, these are transactions. Okay. It's the volume that traded on the historical best bid and offer. And uh, we'll get into uh, exactly what uh, we're displaying here in just a moment. Uh, and then this, this liquidity heat map, this grayscale heat map that you see, well, this is action that's, that's happening outside of the chart. Uh, it's the, uh, the limit order book that's historically recorded. Uh, and so you can now understand where people are uh, offering and bidding uh, in the market. And this offers a lot of transparency. Okay, so to get uh, further into this, I'm actually going to turn on a candlestick chart. And we're going to turn off all of the other data here. And we're just going to look at this. Okay, very simplistic view of the market. And uh, what what is this showing us? All right, candlestick chart is showing us open, high, low, close of a specific time period. Okay, in this case, it's five minutes. That's it. There's only four data points here. Uh, that's all that's being recorded, okay? And we're making trade decisions based on very, very opaque, limited data here, okay? Uh, we have no idea. Look at these wicks up here. I mean, is this selling? Is it buying? Is it exhaustion? Um, you know, where are the traders? Where did the volume actually take place? Uh, what was the uh, reaction in the limit order book at some of these levels? We have no clue to any of this. Okay. There's microstructural detail in here that gives us tremendous insight to uh, the uh, potential movement uh, of, um, of price. Uh, and uh, uh, we don't get any of that information here. Okay. So I'm going to turn on the historical best bid and offer, and uh, that will immediately give us that microstructural detail that we're missing. Okay. So for example, uh, what, um, what occurred down in this area here before we came back up and retested? All right, well, let's click on this move tool, hover over this area, and then I'm going to zoom in really quickly with my center mouse wheel. You don't need to use the zoom tools here that you see. Uh, you can just use your center mouse wheel. All right. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Um, we can see the uh, move down uh, and uh, a little bit of consolidation. And look at these areas here. I mean, it's, it definitely has a slant to the downside because we're making uh, lower highs and not making lower lows really. Uh, it's just kind of just going sideways here. And then we see a break, okay? A break of this structure, okay? We get a retest back up to where we broke from. And then we get another little consolidation area here and it's broken again, All right? Now we get down into this area here, we broke down below and uh, there's gonna be sellers down here. They're, they're gonna be trapped, okay? Because they're, they're gonna be uh, uh, selling the breakdown uh, and, um, uh, you know, the, their, their position is going to be uh, somewhere, you know, in this area here. And they're going to feel the pain as the price is moving back up. Uh, and, um, and where do we go? Uh, we go back up to where uh, we opened here in the cash session. So a lot of these traders are probably going to be placing their stops uh, that, uh, uh, that were down in this area. They're probably going to place them in, in, in these areas here. Um, and uh, if they're... Uh, have a little bit deeper pockets, they're going to place them up by the um, uh, open. Okay. So, uh, uh, and we can see that we, we came up and uh, tested that area. Right. So this is a pretty quick move to the upside. This quick move here is pretty indicative of a short squeeze. All right. And now we're starting to understand all of this though, just by looking at historical best bid and offer. Okay. Look at the candlesticks. 
Okay, let's turn off historical best bid and offer for just a moment. Okay, I, I, I'm not getting really any of that information here uh, from this candlestick chart. Uh, I have no idea if there's more sellers here or buyers in this area. Uh, it's just, uh, it's not really giving me much information at all. Okay, I have no idea that some of this structure was broken and that they're trapped. Uh, and then uh, and then we see the buyers uh, charge in or stops being hit uh, and coming right back up to the uh, to the open. Okay, so all of that data is lost in the candlestick chart, and just with the simple uh, historical best bid and offer, we're gaining a lot of insight here. But now let's turn on the volume, and we'll get um, a, a, a lot more insight to really what occurred here, because we can see uh, the selling and the buying. Okay, so red dot is an aggressive market sell, uh, green dot is an aggressive market buy. Okay, and what do I mean by aggressive? Uh, let's zoom into this area here where we're, we think that uh, a lot of trap volume got squeezed and we'll continue to zoom in here. So uh, this is what I mean. Uh, so here's the historical best offer, the red line, and the historical best bid is the green line. Okay, this dot here is in a market buy. Okay, and it's the aggressor because they crossed the spread. They didn't provide liquidity. They didn't wait. They just jumped in the market and they took liquidity from this price level. Okay, that's the aggressor. Uh, here's the aggressive seller here, market sell. Okay, and uh, they're hitting the bid here. Uh, same same thing. And uh, look at this phenomena here that we see. This is uh, something that we cover uh, in uh, the advanced uh, order flow uh, webinars. This is called a sweep of the limit order book. Okay, so as we came up here, there's a little bit of selling in here. Okay, uh, you can see the little red dots here. But uh, uh, what really occurred here? Uh, is um, uh, these buyers, these aggressive buyers here, they took all of the liquidity from one price level, moved up to the next, they took that, it came up to the next level and they took all of that and they just pulled the market up, they lifted the offer, okay, up out of this little range here. And this is very microstructural range, but uh, nonetheless, it's holding true. And look where we accept, above that little range here. This is what I talked about in terms of the trapped volume. Okay, all right, and we can see uh, a shift in that order flow right in this area here. Okay, look at the selling here. The uh, Now this pie, pie display, pie chart, what is this showing us? It's giving us the overall uh, volume, okay, what the delta is. So about, you know, three quarters of this is selling and about a quarter of it is buying. Okay, we can use this uh, data tip tool, hover over that, and, and we can see exactly what... Uh, occurred here. We have all the market data here. We have the date, the time. Okay, the time is also down to the uh, millisecond in this uh, in this case. You can see the liquidity here on the bid uh, and um, and then the volume that traded here. Okay, so 598 contracts traded here at this price level of 62.38 and uh, 0.805. Now this is, why is it 0.80518? Uh, three nine five. It's because it's giving you. We're giving you the VWAP of this of this big uh, dot here. Okay, so let's zoom into this dot, and you'll note how we're pulling apart all of that trading activity, and we're showing you exactly what occurred here. Okay, and it, we'll continue to zoom in here, and you'll note how we have every single market event that took place. Okay, and uh, now uh, we're looking at um, microsecond level, okay? And what this is giving us is information to how these markets actually trade, okay? So uh, we can see that 22 actually traded here, 22 contracts all, all in all, okay? Uh, and uh, if we can continue to zoom in, uh, we can see each dot and what it represents as a, uh, as a transaction. Algorithmically, this is how the markets trade. Uh, they break up the size, and then they, they trade in little clusters like this. Okay, look at the spacing uh, and look at, uh, you know, how uh, mechanical this is. Okay, so we have a, a very clear understanding. This is an algorithm that's hitting the bid. Okay, so now as we zoom out, okay, and I compress the timeline and now we're down at millisecond level. So thousands of seconds, not uh, millions of seconds. Uh, and we've... Uh, consolidated or aggregated that 
just visually or graphically into a bigger dot. Okay, so volume of 22. Okay, if you want the information on exactly what occurred, just zoom right back in. Okay, it's all, all it's all there. All that market data is there. Okay, we can also see a little bit of a um, uh, a lag here in uh, the uh, trade data versus the quotes data. And why is that? All right. Well, they come. They this is just how these markets operate. Uh, this uh, trade data uh, came in via a different protocol compared to the quotes data. And there's a distinction between the two, okay? There's a little bit of lag here, okay? And we can see it over here as well, okay? It happened so quickly uh, that the uh, uh, there was a little bit of lag in the, in the uh, between the two different protocols that came into uh, into the into Bookmap, okay? Now that comes from the data provider. Uh, it's not uh, we just plot the data, so uh, you know it's uh, you can start to understand that a good data provider, uh, if you're trading at you know really low time frames is going to be important for you okay now as I zoom back out look at this phenomena here okay same phenomena that we just witnessed before okay a sweep of the limit order book okay and look at the retest here okay right back to where we broke from and we continue to the downside okay so this is the microstructural areas that I'm talking about and the insight we're getting with the volume okay you're not even going to be able to see this and, and make these these distinctions in this microstructure to how uh, price is actually trending nicely in this microstructure to the downside. You're not even going to see this in the uh, uh, footprint chart. It's going to record, um, you know, the the uh, actual um, uh, number of contracts that traded, uh, and it's going to give you a number. Uh, but uh, that figure. Uh, is going to be aggregated within a, a candlestick uh, time or a bar rotation. Okay, you won't see the, the the fine details of the structure and the break, and then how we can see here that structure. We see a change. Okay, we actually see another one here, but this this one uh, this one failed. The sellers came right back in and pushed it lower. This one did not fail. All right, and we see the move to the upside. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's the traded volume. Uh, that's the insight that you get uh, with the uh, structure and the volume, right? And uh, now let's uh, zoom out and come back to the current market. And uh, now, what do we? Uh, uh, what else do we want to know here? Okay, looking at the um, the traded volume is important. Okay, and understanding where it took place within these candlesticks. For example, look at this nice cluster up here. Uh, this is exactly where all this volume traded on this in within this five minute period. Okay, so looking at more volume at a higher area here, we continue to the upside. Okay, uh, they hit the hit the bid pretty hard here, and we're below again a microstructure. Okay, this structure here. All right, so you can see this is fractal as well as we zoom out. Uh, and uh, these little breaks of structure happen all the time. It's how you how we trade to new levels. And we're, we're one is occurring right now. Let's see if we can get maybe up above this swing uh, at uh, 62.41 and a half. Okay, that's the the target here. Now, why is this a target? Well, there's going to be some stops that are probably up in this area, but we really want to know um, the this information in the limit order book. Okay, and this is the dome or your depth of market here in Bookmap. Okay, your current order book uh, column here. Okay, so we have the price ladder, and then these numbers uh, are contracts uh, that traders uh, here on the offer, for example, they want to be sellers at these levels. And they want to be buyers at these levels below current price. Okay, they're lining up to, to deal uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the depth of market. Okay, this gives us a lot of insight. We can start to understand where larger players uh, are providing liquidity, and the market needs liquidity to trade. There's all sorts of ways of understanding the liquidity, but um, uh, basically uh, what we want to understand here uh, is uh, where the majority of these traders are to gain the most insight, okay? And uh, you can see we're trying to reach these guys up here uh, around this uh, uh, 43 level, okay? And then we see 45, pretty high liquidity up here too. Okay, but note that, you know, we just, now we just tested 43 here, okay? Uh, and it uh, looks like, uh, well, let's see if we can get up to 45 now, okay, because there's high liquidity here. But 
note that, that that information is gone now at 43. Okay, uh, we traded into it, and um, now we don't we don't know what the liquidity. I mean, we can see the current liquidity at 50, or it was 47, uh, and now 36. So that data is lost. Uh, this is where Bookmap uh, solves this issue: uh, is by recording that historical data, and now we have it here. Uh, on, on the heat map. So in this window here, uh, we can see the historical or the, the current best bid and offer. Okay, last traded volume is this number. And then uh, we can see the liquidity. So look at the liquidity actually, um, this is called a flip of the book. Uh, they're flipping from the offer that we saw here at 43 to the bid side at 42. Okay, so it looks pretty poised here to come up and test 45 now. All right, so this is the kind of phenomena that you can witness here in Bookmap very, very clearly, All right? Because it's, it's it's just right here in front of you. In fact, let's turn off the candlesticks because they get uh, rather distracting. Uh, now we have the insight. Okay, so uh, buyers uh, are up here at a higher level. Okay, they want to be buyers up here now. So it looks like this breakout, at least at the moment, is sustained. Okay, breakout of this area here around uh, that. Uh, 41 actually uh, we can see the book getting pretty thick here okay doesn't mean that it can't trade into it and trade back down maybe to 40 uh, and find uh, buyers here these guys may pull uh, but we'll, we'll see we'll, we'll see if they get tested and we'll be able to answer that question okay but uh, and we can see it uh, 42 and a half they're starting to pull already a little bit anyway uh, that's where it gets really interesting here in Bookmap is because we take the data uh, from the limit order book and record it and then plot it onto the chart. Okay, so now we have a, a very clear understanding of the auction. Okay, historically, look at the look at the uh, sellers up here in this area. Okay, and look at the buyers down here. Actually, the swing was down here, but they're they're bidding up at a higher level here. Okay, this is bullish. All right. Uh, and then the, they're lowering the offer down here, okay? But uh, we, we break through that area. Let's zoom into that area because uh, uh, this is the kind of insight that you can see, okay? In fact, uh, we uh, we trade into this 6240, okay? And look what occurred, okay? We can see that uh, they stayed in the book. This is real liquidity. We can make a distinction and we can give a lot of value to your limit order book because we can see that it traded. Okay, we know that this is fact, right? So a lot of traders will say, "Well, I look at the limit order book, but uh, I don't really follow it because um, a lot of it's fake." Well, this is real, and we just made the distinction between what is real and what is fake. What about these guys up here at 41? This is fake. They pulled. Okay, price came up here and they pulled. All right. We can also start to understand these players at these levels because they pulled here. And then we see you get bright up above here in some of these areas. So they're pulling from 41 and adding up here at 42. All right. So now, now we have all of this data in front of us and we can start to see and understand uh, how these uh, larger players are starting to position themselves. Anyway, that's just uh, one of the insights. Uh, and um, all right. So uh, let's see. We came up to our 45 area. Okay, that's what we were uh, were looking for. Uh, we got it. Now the higher liquidity is up here at uh, between 46 and 47. All right. So you can see how liquidity and volume uh, interact uh, with each other, and uh, how the market needs that liquidity uh, to trade. Okay, and we can start to make the distinction between that liquidity that is real and that liquidity that is fake. Uh, and that offers a lot of transparency and insight to making much more informed trading decisions here. All right. All right, guys. Well, uh, let's uh, let's call it a day. And uh, for those of you who, uh, it's great to see you in here that a, a lot of you guys are now um, uh, coming to both webinars here. Uh, and uh, that, that's that's fantastic. Uh, uh, so the uh, we go through the book map basics and, and answer any of the uh, platform questions that you guys have. Uh, and um, uh, then uh, we go into detail uh, in the next webinar, okay, and really get into uh, understanding the order flow, and then we start to anticipate price movement, okay, just like we anticipated this move into 45, 
okay? Uh, or the test of 43 and then the move up into 45, okay? Uh, so anyway, uh, let's uh, we'll wrap it up and then uh, we'll see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys.